Good. Now, wh what do you build on this, Luna? Is it going to be like one of those magical damage ones that I see in my pubs where I just get, you know, attacked by the Agnum Scepter and stuff like uh -huh. that, or mostly right click still? I think, it will, well, as a support, you just naturally knock. You're going to be more of this kind of aura bot earlier, so we right. might see like uh -huh. Rums. Vlads. Possibly Vlads, yeah. I mean, there's no reason you can't buy the Vlads on the Luna. I think we'll just see those, yeah. Drums, Vlads, I don't know, Mecha, whatever you need. Whatever the team needs, the Luna can buy. There's no requirement for the Luna to dish out damage here. Um, especially not physical damage. If you've got Drown, Morphling, those heroes are going to be your damage dealers if that's your one and your two. Um, oh, no, Yasuo's yeah, so not smiling. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. It's just kind of... They, they're in serious mode. Oh, man. Oh, well, this is LGD. They're spooked. And, uh, hey, speaking of which, we have seen a lot of uh, Ame Naga Siren, and here she is again. So, uh... It's Team Fight Wombo Combo. Yeah. Naga, Phoenix, Sanking, they see these secret heroes, and they're like, that looks a bit greedy. That also looks like there's no team fight on Team Secret side. Let's try and punish this. But LGD needs something to actually take objectives. They have no Roche Taker, no Building Hitter. I, that to me is the big concern when I see this, these LGD heroes. Yeah, they have no wave clear either, and Secret are poised to just obliterate structures. Even just Drow Ranger and Morphling alone would be able to do that. You toss Luna into the mix. But I, I, I think for LGD, that's okay for them because they can defend tower. Like if you're going to go remaining. four or five men down a tower, that's what LGD almost wants because then you're giving them that big team fight. True, but they seem a little bit more hampered by cooldowns. Whereas yeah, yeah. Secret, like, they don't even need a creep wave half the time. They'll just have a Dry Ranger sieging it away from a distance. Whereas LGD, like, they need time to reset after a siege, if it, especially if it's, like, a full committed defense. You know, people say this a lot on these panels, but Team Secret's draft literally does look like uh, a legend pub right now. It's just so many <laughs> carries, one very, very stressed out tusk. <laughs> what are we missing on Team Secret's draft? Is it, oh, a pot! What? <laughs> Apunka, yeah. show me how to I love these guys. Please. I love these guys. He's, he's not smiling and laughing. All right, so <laughs> they played Pudge. Here's yeah. It's so it's, Zai played Pudge, Pudge earlier yep. in the tournament. <laughs> so I'm thinking three Pudge. Yep. Four Luna. Yep. Five Tusk. Yep. One Drow. Yep. And two Morph. My goodness. Christ. Well, Nisha is normally the the more. I mean, yeah. in terms of farm party, Nisha would normally play right, the okay, more, yeah, but yeah. mid one drow. Right. Five but seconds, mid lane would be more fling. Yeah, it should be. Okay, I agree with that. If I, I possibly I've... depends on the matchup, what LGD. That's pick true here. because they are holding. They, they have three seconds. They're, they have to one second. What? <laughs> We're back, right? I mean, that gives you damage, like in as far as killing heroes, but does not give you any uh. way to take objectives. They're all in on just team fighting, and this. Is some crazy wonky drafts coming Ooh. out. All right, we are in mind game central, boys. We're so far deep into the game, I don't even know what game we're playing. I, it's too early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Gods, uh, any ideas about this draft? Who do you think has an advantage if you can guess anything at all? No. No? <laughs> got nothing. Hey, that's all right. On a tsunami. All right, all right. Tsunami, what do we got, buddy? Yes. What are you feeling? You called the secret. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> okay. Talk to me, bro. I got nothing. <laughs> Awful analysts. What are you guys doing to me up here? Well, gentlemen, our analysts, highest thinkers in Dota, how are they supposed to understand a draft that very much looks like it's made in a Legend 2 pub? We will find out soon, however, as our casters will walk us through a very exciting game. Hope you're ready for some pudge. Hope you're ready for some support. Luna, let's get it into the game with Capitalist and Blitz. Forget the build-up, forget the storylines, forget everything that sets up this epic match between Secret and LGD, and let's just talk about this crazy-ass draft from Team Secret. Blitz, we've seen some of this before. We've seen four position Luna, specifically from Secret before. We've seen, you know, the synergy between Drill Ranger and heroes like Morphling. We've even seen three position punch but all of this in one draft seems 
I mean, it seems like Puppy's throwing every little tiny trick he's learned in his pubs all into one weird scenario. I mean, I think the draft actually makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Like, they needed a save uh, and a frontliner. <clears throat> they got two of those in the Tusk and the Pudge. Like, people think of Pudge, I think, incorrectly. Like, they still think of it as, like, a troll hero. Yep. Uh, because it, it was for the first, like, three years of Dota, right? It was such a neat pick where only Dendi really did it. But, I mean, it's a legit hero. It does a lot. Uh, the new Flesh Heap is so good. So, so strong. You start out, you're just Dragon's Blood. You have 5 HP regen yeah. to begin the game. Like, uh, stuff like that, I think, is really interesting about the hero. Uh, people really forget that all the, the time. Begins. Yeah, we've seen... Um... Of late, it is kind of come into vogue that people are running these pudges, you know, mid. We've seen offlane punch. I'm actually kind of a fan of the offlane punch because I think it, like, as a two position, you the farm doesn't really go to work, I would yeah. say, on a punch. But it's a three position. Like, three is just that nice um, split between you get good amount of experience and you do get a little gold. So you're going to get some mid-game items that are useful, but you're not taking over, like, a two position slot where you know is kind of meant to scale and escalate later on to the game i think the idea behind it is like you have a luna uh she's gonna give the draw just good aura her ult's gonna work as like a backliner where if you get close she's just gonna pop a clips yep and try to set like the field for mid one and it just makes it hard for uh lgd to just like hard commit into that mm -hmm. plus like the hook is just a natural save you have somebody that can get in there and like find the bat rider for you and yep. if he gets the uh the ulti off it's like a worse version of venge in a way the uh we we should talk the the luna gives incredible synergy to every single one of these heroes yeah the, we tsunami correctly pointed out the feedback loop that we're going to be having with the luna being able to give the primary more primary attribute to this draw ranger which is turn going to be able to help everyone else out morphling who has a high percentage base damage already is just going to feel that increase even more being around uh, that Luna and Tusk who has a percentage based uh, ultimate damage based off of his his uh, his base damage or based off of his damage rather that obviously is going to help him out too and Pudge is another big one yeah, yeah yeah I mean Pudge in this lane at least I think it's like a free-ish lane for him because I should be able to just farm and he's doing exactly that yeah uh, 7 CS already has already picked up the level of flesh heat, which, by the way, in pubs, like if you're playing this style of pudge, guys, this is what you do. Yeah, don't don't go hook. Hook's a meme. Oh man. In in lane, you don't need it. Right now, this lane mid, not going. He's, he's getting way. worked. Yeah, he is. Eleven and three, compared to Nisha's four and zero. I think it's because morph. Uh, you typically want to stay at as low of HP as possible. And Batrider doesn't mind that. He's like, I'll stick you three times, I hit you once, and yep. all of a sudden you've got 100 health. And that's exactly what's happening right now, is that Nisha's just getting bullied. And what little CS he is getting is all being funneled into getting himself more regen so he can actually go back to lane. But we can see Nisha, that regen may not be enough here as he's going to be chased down he's by dead. the Batrider and he's dead. Just like that, and it's going to be first blood. I actually... LGD. I think this lane is pretty impossible for him to play. Yeah. And we didn't talk nearly enough about LGD's line. Because I feel like LGD's lineup, you're essentially going all in on a single core Naga, but you have a lot of good backup. Like, if you're ever going to do single core, by the way, in your drafts, you have to fulfill two conditions. It's like, one, she has to, you have to make sure that like the Naga isn't challenged in terms of uh, late game supremacy, which I think in this game, it's a very good Naga game. And the second condition is you need lots of control on your team uh, yeah. to make it work. Because if you're, if you're going to have, like, the single core that just does nothing but farm and you're going to devote all the farm to her. You need to make sure that the other heroes on your team can play this like four protect one sort of strategy where they can fight without you if need be. And more importantly, they can they can help you put out your damage. Yeah, if you've got one hero and that's the only hero you have to kite, and it's the only hero that puts out damage for you, you better make sure that you have the stunts necessary to make sure that hero is able to actually get that damage in rather than just being kited the entire time. Yeah, and that's why, uh, like, these kinds of teamfight lineups often falter because that's all they can do. Like, at some point, you're going to lose out as the game progresses on, but the reason why I think LGD's lineup is quite nice, too, is because I feel like they can always fight, and they do have a late-game condition. Yeah. Bane going to be in some trouble here. X Nova, nice! 
That was a beautiful setup from Chalice who walked downwards to specifically make sure he got the double stun on Yapsor as well. The sleep is going to be able to stop that TP away. They're going to lead him sleep to make sure they get enough damage out of X Nova. Now the flyby coming in from the Phoenix doesn't actually hit the Tusk, but they don't need him. It looks like they're just going to leave it to X Nova to get that kill. The double damage on FY now starts putting its work to mid one, forcing him back as well. So you're going to respawn. As we saw, maybe, by the way, he made his way all the way uh, to the secret shop just so that he could pick up his bottle. Still absolutely crushing mid, though. And I think Nisha, I mean, this is not a comfortable lane for him whatsoever. The good news is that his other two cores are doing quite well. Yeah. Like, Zai just completely leads the game right now with 31 CS. We talked about how Pudge is most likely going to have a free lane as he does get the hook off on Ame, which will at least secure him this bottom bounty rune. The other one, because... Ame did not TP all the way back to base. He just TP'd to the tower. He'll be able to grab that. So even on bounty rooms so far. Yeah. You see the frustration build right now for Nisha is every single time uh, he gets more than three stacks, he just has to wait from away as... Fortunately, he's got this medium camp to play off of at times. So you can see X Nova knows that Nisha is taking advantage of that camp. He's going to try and shut down that small radiant advantage as best he can. I think he's gonna maybe put a ward behind the tower too. Yeah, it looks like it. What do you think that is? Is, just, is it just because the Batrider's owning the lane so much, so oh, they no. need to see the rotations? Maybe he puts the one up on the high ground. You know, Ooh, no. Chalice, good burrow strike into the trees. Really waited that out until the snowball actually hit him. That way he couldn't be pursued. The hill would be really good too. Because the hill spots, it's it it has the same effect anyway. Because it spots the mid lane rotation from the two supports, and they know that at some point Nisha's gonna complain and be like, uh, "Guys, somebody has to come over and help me out." Drill Ranger is one of those great heroes where you just support him at the start, and then he gets strong enough to take on any oh. he one. Chase down, does manage to get the lasso in the mid lane where the Morphling is in some trouble. Waveforms to the side to try and get more CS. Fortunately, because he's level 6 and he's got two health bars to work with here, that uh, he can't actually just chase away that maybe Batrider. Chow's gonna go for it here as FY follows up with the Fire Spirits. They sleep the Tusk and just continue to focus on mid one as fast as possible, pressuring this core. Track him inside with the shards. That was a beautiful play from uh, the rest of LGT, as I realize I'm talking about Puppy missing his shard. <laughs> it's early in the morning, what can you say? Puppy helped out in the gank, not the way that he wanted to, but... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody got a kill. <laughs> Somebody did indeed, that's another assist for Puppy. Three to zero, Team Secret yet to be able to pick up a kill. Oh, he's... You see Zai already, by the way, keeping top lane. I think they're gonna make the lane swap. And that's where that, that vision is gonna be very important. Yeah. Uh, that's such a smart word by, uh, like, the way that he plays it, too, it's very unlikely that they know that it's up there. Because they would have yeah. thought to themselves, like, well, how did he get up there? He went all the way around. Uh, as I, I mean, they should know about this mid, this mid move. They did have the ward there, and Ame's just going to push out the lane. They're going to spot Puppy here, and this should... Zai be a kill. He's actually gonna go for the hook oh. here and let no, uh, LGD know that he's there But I'm not sure if he actually wants that because there's four heroes from LGD no matter how big you are Zai Maybe he is too big look at him. He takes about half his health from all of that LGD just don't have the power to be able to bring him down quickly even though he was pretty much trapped Yeah, and the dive has been committed by the Phoenix so he does have to be careful and look at him He's already back up. This is the power of the flesh heap. You max that out early he got one level of hook because now he's coming online and wants to run around and do things. But this flesh heap giving him so much reach and it played out in the combat. Now he he can just go right back to uh, oh, King Fucking Hill. He's, he's going to be able to get in the top lane. Chalice pulled in by the hook, goes for the sandstorm, but they have the vision. Fortunately, he has the burst strike to be able to jump to the other side of the trees. And because it's a level one hook, it's a long cooldown. Zai will not so easily be able to catch Chalice unless he just runs him down underneath the trees. Yaptor oh. stuns him for a second. Chalice. Did not expect that at all. He didn't expect Zai to just run at him like that. Yeah, and Zai would... He's going to go for more? Is he really... oh. No, there's not the range. He doesn't have it. Chalice was like, uh, you know, it's one of those moves. You ever play a pub game where they're still chasing you? Yeah. And you're wondering why? Because yeah. you have an escape ability? And you're like, what are you idiots doing? And then they end up catching up and killing you. 
That's exactly what happened. I genuinely don't think that he thought there was any way he was gonna die. He's like, oh, well, they blown their hook. Yeah. Then Zai just kind of ran at him and he died. And they're gonna do the same right now to the Phoenix. They know that the dive is on a cooldown. This should be another flesh deep. Yeah, pretty easy. Yep. That's another flesh heap stack added. He's already up to two. He's got four bonus strength, 11 HP regen a second. And they're even gonna find X Nova down here. Brain sap to give him a little health. Nisha waiting to take the kill because he needs, he needs that gold. He had a rough time in the landing phase. Hey, he's actually come back though. Look at the CS, 54 and six. That's the best part about uh, Morphling is that no matter what, with just treads, these two Wraith bands, you're gonna farm the jungle so quick. Yeah. Plus the uh, drop precision R is not bad at all. Uh, at this point, it's like a free gloves of haste. Mm -hmm. is under attack. It's like two free gloves of haste. It's actually 40. Bat Rider flies on in, runs right into a punch. This is that frontliner. Look at that. That tough snowball dodging the burrow strike. They're still going to try and chase down maybe here, but they're slowed down by the Phoenix. Which is hasted. Oh, that's not the hook he wanted. Fortunately, he still has the Icarus dive. Gets the fire spirits on to maybe. Maybe he's taking out bit by bit here. Nisha will ensure the kill here. FY still being chased down by Zai as well. These heroes are just too tanky to fight into right now. And it's showing. LGD. With all of, we talked about, they have this team fight and stuff. When it comes to these skirmishes, though, this early on to the game, their nukes are not powerful enough to be able to deal with these heroes. They're going to try and go for the Luna here. But the hook in, it's going to be able to pull him away. That epicenter is useless, and Zai is just going to stay inside the Sandstorm because he knows his he can take the Rot damage and the Sandstorm's damage and still outdo Chalice here, who's just going to biding his time. Look at Puppy. Just staying right on him and... I think Chalice knows about the TP. Oh. They spotted him for a moment, but they did not have the disable. And you see Yapsor. Like, the best part about this strategy is the Luna just, he can pick up farm. Got three levels of the Blessing, and that is reflected in the fact that Yapsor at 11 minutes has the Vlads completed. Jesus. And that's just one more thing where you're primary attributes that you're getting increased from the Luna, from the Flesh Heap, from everything else that's going on in this game, that Vlad's is all the more effective. Same goes for the Morphling, right? And something about uh, the way that Secret plays like really enables this. It's the fact that Zai plays more like a second four. Mm. It's like him and Yapsor sort of share that three position role. Uh, and it's sort of like that idea of positionless Dota. You know, Puppy always said like, yeah. you know, I, I don't play two, five, or four, I play Dota. And that's always been, I think, his core concept of making sure that everyone can be enabled at some point, including himself. As Speaking Adam. of Poppy, he is in trouble here. Snowballs at the last second, knowing that he's just going to be pulled deeper back in, but it, it is at least going to force LGD a little bit more time out of them. Yeah. You know, it kind of reminds me this the, the way you're talking about Secret is the way we watch OpenAI play, where yeah. there wasn't that dedicated five position. It was like everybody was going to be able to get farm and have items because... I mean, they played 4,000 years of Dota and beat OG. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I trust them. They, they know what's up. And it's, uh, for a lot of people, I think it'd be like a symbiotic relationship, but I think for uh, for Secret, it's incredibly synergistic. Like, the way that they do it, it yeah. just helps out both ends. Like, Zai gets a lot of farm, and he's just naturally a playmaker. He was a previous four player himself, and he joins his yeah. team, and he's like, well, I can kind of still play four. I'll get a little bit more farm, at least to start the lane, but... It's like the way you talked about um, Crow saying, like, somebody's got to have a bad game. Except for with Secret, it's like Zai saying, yeah, I'm momentarily going to have, quote unquote, a bad game. I'm not going to just keep farming, but it's going to elevate my four positions game. And my four position is then going to elevate my game as well. If I yeah. give Yapsor some farm, he's going to help me get some kills. And then we're both going to be rich. We're it's, both going to be cool. It's one of those things where, like, you might not individually look the best, but what you're probably doing is giving your team the best chance of winning. Mm -hmm. Which, at the end of the day, as a Dota competitor, that that should be all you care about. Because I know a lot of people that care about stats and stuff. Yeah. Uh, in terms of, like, oh, did I have a good game? But, like, there's some stuff that you don't really see on the scoreboard. Uh, and conversely, on the side of LGD, Ame has just been given, like, you know, power farm, they're yeah. all winning on this concept. Yeah. Like, it's like the complete opposite of Secret where the farm distribution is very split. On on LGD, it's just Ame, you're the Naga, like we talked about earlier on in the game, you're going to make sure that this game is won for us. We have a lot of team fight. That's the best part about their lineup is no matter, even if they're down like 5k gold, they have so many stuns, they have so many disables, they have good uh, AoE, that it's not going to hurt them that bad. They have a way to always go through BKB uh, with the Bane 
Fiend's Grip, and Burrell. Are they going to read this? They're not. The hook goes out. Burrow Strike immediately challenged. He's still going to be chased by the Snowball, blocked in by the Ice Shards as well. Do they have the vision? What is with Seeker not having the vision to deal with this uh, Sand King? All right, he's just going to walk away. Burrow Strike's out as well. And really good defensive positioning there by LGD. You said, you know, they kind of have to be able to take fights or at least not get caught in bad engagements as this four man while they buy Ame all this time. Yeah, like I, I'm down for, you know, splitting the farm and stuff, but like somebody just buy dust. That's like twice now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to uh, call yeah, anybody isn't, out. Isn't that like directly the concept of like, if I invest the gold now, it'll pay back twofold? Dude, yeah. If I just buy the dust now, we'll get the Sand King kill and it'll be worth it for everyone? Let me just tell you, my my man Yapsor built up 1,200 gold and then he's like, <laughs> you know what, I'll get a dust. All right. Uh, like, you... Puppy's got 92 gold, man. Come on. Just, <laughs> you can pick up one pack of dust. And he does indeed for his team. As he already has a point booster. Oh, look at that. LGD, big advantage of the bounty rune, says the... It was even for five minutes. Bro Strike on to Zyde. Look at how tanky he is, though. And the damage is ticking on a challenge. Fortunately, he managed to dodge that meat hook coming out. He's and now they're going to fly away from the supernova, not trying to protect it at all. And the <laughs> flying morphling looks so unbelievably ridiculous, by the way. Oh, when he switches yeah. back. It looks like he's just gliding on him. Also, how incredibly fast does he attack, man? When he goes full agility and he's getting this Dro aura, and then maybe Aluna is giving him this extra 24 uh, uh, agility. Now he's uh, now he's up to four gloves of haste. I, I like just visualizing this gloves of haste. <laughs> that's, I, I, that's how you look at it in your head. Yeah, if you think about it, that's 2,000 gold worth of items. Not efficient items. Like if somebody won four gloves of haste, I'm yeah. not super happy about that, but. It is a thing as now they're going to center around this Roshan pit. They know there's no Phoenix Egg, which is the massive teamfight ability in that pit. They know there's no Epicenter because they blew it all on Zayas. Dyer are going to scan and I mean, they do have sleep, but Ame does not seem interested in this at all. It's going to go down so fast. The all Agi Morphling with the Draw Aura. You want a little bit more uh, Gloves of Haste? I'll give you another one here. What's up? So the... Um... The Luna gives you 24 of your primary uh, action at level 4. And Precision Aura gives you uh, agility as ranged attack speed bonus 80%. Yeah. So that's 20 attack speed. I mean, that's an extra 20 now. attack speed off of your Precision Aura for everyone when he's near the Luna. I see, yeah. He just lost 20. Yeah. That's pretty sick. That's insanely sick, Captain. Thank you for doing all that. That's that's that looking at math right there. Haha, <laughs> we got we you got guys. It. We knew we could do it. The grand uh, I was doing the whole work for 17 minutes. I was I pulled out my calculator, but finally, it all paid off. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get there. <laughs> the <laughs> NA way. <laughs> Six to four, 17 minutes in. LGD. So we we, we talked a lot about secret. I, I felt you pulling me back to LGD. I did. I want to talk about LGD. I I, I, I think uh, and I do too. So what when what, what's the timing here? When are we when are we gonna come online? When can we talk about Ame being a force in this game and not just farming his way up? Three more items. <laughs> Three more <laughs> items. Okay. So that you need Diffusal, Manta, and Heart. Uh, is yeah. That, is that the three you need? Butter's good too. Butter's really nice because the morph, anyways, is not want to build him. KB. It's not a natural morph item. Yeah. It doesn't really help stat-wise or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, he's just going to need to power farm. Because, and, like I said, like the rest of his team does not feel great hitting creep. Like, Chalice, uh, only up to 58 CS. The Batrider, I mean, I feel like maybe destroyed his lane. And a large majority of his CS this game comes from the early game that he was able to win so hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, they got the dust this time. Can't believe maybe just tried that. Look, Yapsor, this is a uh, positive reward. You know, some Pavlov stuff. <laughs> he just went and he's like, well, they haven't had dust before. I could grab this illusion rune <laughs> right in front of Zai. It's not like the illusion rune does anything for you on a Dude, bat rider. the greedier teams get punished so hard by this. Yeah. Like, uh, Secret and Liquid especially are so guilty of this. You know, of not, not lying to text. Yeah, Murata's like should be theoretically the best heroes. Bottom lane. <laughs> okay. Guys, Zai again? Zai. Gonna, we gonna Dude, don't, don't go for Zai. LGD, please. That, that guy. He is too tanky. He's oh. got a Hood of Defiance, Vanguard. Look at this. Ame, he catches them both with a sleep. Oh, the hook, the hook's gonna miss. The epicenter's gonna come in. Chalice immediately goes in, gets the burst strike. Oh. This is the five position that you just blew your entire combo for. 
that was not the team fight that LGD was hoping it was going to be. Yeah, but Puppy got dumped on. <laughs> we tilted the captain. Yeah, it's uh, it's that hidden factor of killing the captain. Man, Puppy got he got the treatment. <laughs> Can you imagine walking up a hill getting a uh, song epicenter <laughs> supernova? Supernova. I'm surprised he didn't get Fiend's script. Yeah, from a visual perspective, it like it looked very cool at least. So we know that uh, LGD can win a fight four on one <laughs> with all their ultis. Can they win a four versus five though? I mean, it seemed like they they can hardly beat a four versus Pudge. Their damage is just so magic based that the good news for them though, I think, is that Naga will be very good against him. Yeah. Uh, later on, like he has a very hard time killing her illusion straight up, and that's why I think Zai recognizes that, and they're going to try to push the issue a lot quicker. If you notice his build, he's going for Crimson Guard. Isha has the uh, quicker BKB queued up as well. Like, they're pumping a lot into this, like, mid-game timing. Yapsor, you know, doing Yapsor things almost has a fully completed Aghanim Scepter. And, again, you just treat this guy like another core. As a caster, the mistake is always to think of him as a pure core position where he's just going to make plays. No, this guy really likes hitting neutrals. And he likes being able to do crazy things in team fights, and that's going to show off. And Aghanim's Luna, that is a lot of magic damage. And I don't think, what, what are Chalice's items? He doesn't have anything like a pipe or something that's going to protect the team. Yeah, straight up Blink Dagger into Lotus Orb. Chalice is so under farm because yeah. he just hasn't been given, like, the, like I said, it's, the, it's almost like the exact polar opposite of how Secret's treating this game. Yeah. Uh, is how LGD's treating this game. LGD's like... Ame, we have, no matter what our item situation looks like, we have... <laughs> no, no, there was going to be a fiend script on ah, Puppy. Okay. It was just two minutes delayed, that's all. Are you going to have to lasso him too? Yes, you are. Got him. You you can't let him oh, snowball. Nice! nice. Oh, snag there from Zai. The sleep is going to go down, though. Okay, don't wake him up, though. Oh, Nisha stops the TP. X Nova will not make it out. That's another stack. That's 10 now. Dude, everyone's just getting... Their team is so cool. They just Everyone's got the, like, their own aura and stuff. Yeah. No one's left out. Like Zai even, you know, he doesn't get any draw aura, but... I feel like um, you're, you're saying these teams are like polar opposites, Radiant's and this is also like, denied. this is what Secret looks like when it's working. Oh, yeah. And this is what LGD looks like when it's not working. You know, this is like when you're four, four you're, when it's a, a four protect one strategy and the four is beating the opposing five, then your strategy looks sick. Ame all of a sudden comes in as a Terrorblade or an Animate or a Naga Siren or something and just ends the game for you. But in this game, it's like LGD is kind of losing the game for 20 minutes and they're just waiting. They're going, Ame, we're going to need you to step in soon, bud, because this game is not going so well. The thing about Secret Style is, like, when they play like this, they look unbeatable. Because their their style just looks like it's unpunishable. Yeah. But when it looks bad, it looks bad. And then, you know, Puppy gets blamed for his greedy, no-stun draft. <laughs> yeah, what are yeah. you doing? But, uh, you know, like, this is this is the ideal scenario of how your lineup can potentially look when, when zai doesn't win his lane and successfully rotates oh oh i gonna get caught that was not the icarus dive unfortunately but he didn't have any options to be honest and this was the smoke to just connect to the tier one yeah as a fully completed bkb is completed on this morphling now yeah it's just uh we've seen games where zai like makes that rotation and it doesn't succeed and then he becomes he goes from a three to a four and then as a result, he's not able to create the space, and Yapsor doesn't get as much farm either. And then you've got, you know, three very poor heroes, and, you know, Nisha or mid one who's trying to, like, create space for the other. Yeah, this, uh, this Luna now does have her Aghanim Scepter. Oh, boy. We haven't really seen Yapsor uh, have to move around a lot, like, yeah. past the laning phase. He's... I mean, if you look at his heat map, I imagine it's largely centered around that top area and jungle. Aside from the smoke expeditions they've done, but look how quickly. Yeah, look at power. This is why you don't need any items on the morph aside from the BKB and the Lincoln. Yeah, this is all the App Store's had to do. He's like, uh, I'm just going to chill up here and farm. Top lane, off lane jungle. That's, Yo, that's the only place for me. Oh, the hook does whiff. 
Chalice in a good position. Yeah, Mammoth going Center coming in from behind. They're going to be able to get the two-man bro strike. The follow-up here from the maybe is going to be able to get the lasso to pull back the drill ranger. All important that they get this kill. The supernova yeah, Aghanim definitely Aghanim. stuns him up. That Aghanim does go off. Unfortunately, the illusions help tank so much damage there. A hook comes out from Sai, able to pull the bat rider in. The drill ranger is still alive somehow. They blew everything to be able to kill mid one, and he's not dead yet. Finally, he will go down as the Naga Side Illusions will help finish off this case. But Secret is looking plenty strong. They're still gonna look for this fight as the BKB wears out from Nishin now, but it runs over Chalice. They're gonna be left with this tier three and this bottom lane of Rax as LGD has clearly run out of steam. They threw everything they had to be able to kill that Drew Ranger and there's nothing left after. And Secret as a result, they're saying to themselves, guys, they literally used everything that they have. There's no team fight left. The Naga won't feel comfortable fighting without sleep. We sped up the timing considerably. I said the Naga needs at least like a few more items to be able to go for the high ground or take a fight on the high ground and unable to do so. They're gonna get the mid tower to about half as well. Reset things, allow their drill to respawn. There's a Roshan that they can take pretty shortly in two minutes. They're pinging towards that top lane as Puppy. He wants people to come over. It's gonna spawn him, snowball first, punch after, and now that is just long enough for the Drow Ranger to get here, but BKB teleport, he'll be fine. Yeah, he needed to save the punch. It's all good though. Everything is coming up secret as 25 minutes in. This Pudge strat, they've got uh, a Pipe, a Crimson Guard, Drora, the Luna Aura, a Vlads. They just have so many items. So what are the missteps from LHD? Like, I, I feel pretty strongly this Phoenix was a non-fact. Oh, I mean... It I didn't do anything. Well, that thought is... Uh... Oh, Yule Scepter to be able to dodge the stun. And he doesn't have a Sandstorm, but he does have a Blink. It'll be good. I mean, the Phoenix kind of felt mediocre, and... I mean, they just weren't able to really do anything about this top lane. Yeah. Which is weird, because they won bottom, and they did well enough. Uh, in mid two, like I'd say maybe one is lane. He solo. Did they win bludgeon. bottom though? Because I, I felt like the Phoenix couldn't do anything to this punch. I think the Naga. I think the Naga was just gonna get farm anyways. Yeah. Like, Naga plus one lane. Is there really any lane uh, that's gonna pressure that punch out? Probably not. It's just kind of one of those like we trade farm, and so I think in that way they won. I sh I misspoke. I don't mean to say like they destroyed Zai and yeah. They killed him a bunch, but I think the Naga was like comfortable coming out of the laning phase. They got what they wanted. Yeah, but at this top lane, uh, it's when Zai made the rotation towards that top, and then they just kept killing him over yeah. and over again. It it all started with the dive under onto Chalice, where he just kind of got walked down. Then he skips the wave. They push the tower really quick as a result. Like it, it all comes down to that first kill. I think when they skip the wave, push it out. Uh, then they take the early Roshan, and the game just like gets progressively more difficult as. Naga is opting to go for the butterfly now, but her actual team fight contribution, I think, like, is sort of limited. Uh, she needs one more item on top of this. That's why I said after the defusal, she needs oh, three. They got caught. LGD was trying to do this long wrap around, and Secret was wise to it. They successfully get a scan in the off lane jungle. Dude, they're just area. going for it. The, they're just going to march down mid because they know at this point they have LGD a is separated from their base. They're going to have to just mass TP back. And meanwhile, oh, Secret's gonna be able to get so much damage in. Oh, Nisha that's is too fast. Maxed out agility. He's doing 300 damage a hit. That's so hit fast. A billion times a second. Melee Rack's already gone. That LGD couldn't even formulate a defense in time. <laughs> I mean, they all started coming back pretty quickly as soon as they realized what was gonna happen. And yeah, what is this? We're gonna have the uh, Bane run into Zai potentially. I'm not sure if that's a good thing though. It's oh. gonna take him so long to kill Zai that Secret may try and fight around him here. Sure enough, the Fiend script with the Enfeebled this is gonna be a very long one, but Puppy comes in with a Snowball save. The Epicenter's gonna come in, man, to get the stun onto two of them. They're just gonna grab the looking two. fight. This is looking fantastic for LGD. The first time they're maybe gonna win a fight here. BKB goes down. The Silent that Luna ultimate, a great Silent Sound for the Bane. He's trying to limp away, but here comes Nisha. Make sure he get blown up. The Supernova on the right-hand side. Nisha pops, BKB focuses down. Again, the Phoenix is not able to accomplish anything in these engagements. The song goes out. Now now the BKBs are wearing away for LGD, or Secret rather. Oh, look at Ame too. He popped the song thinking that he was getting chased. So in this ensuing engagement, doesn't really have that as a reset. Gonna go back to hitting creeps because there's still five seconds left on his TP. This is gonna be the other racks being That's taken it. and FY. I mean, he was just done with this game. Couldn't really do anything about it. 
two, five, and four, never really felt his impact, like you said, but you never really felt the impact of any of LGD's heroes. And it's so weird considering, like, hypothetically, they should have been able to win team fights. Yeah. But you get this two zero.